The effect movies have on us is indisputable. There is much research on how it influences our views on relationships, violence, faith and politics. But this very admission of Bollywood megastar Amir Khan is very powerful. Why? Because he is one of the top actors in Bollywood and he is speaking from experience from within the industry. Shayad, I've done a lot of things in my films and I feel like I'm very proud of this. No, it's true, because at that time we don't understand that we're showing or what we're seeing will happen. And I feel like this is the feeling today. Unfortunately, this message is going on in people. They think that it's because of our films that the girls like this. They like it, they like it, they like it. Now, I couldn't play the whole clip because of copyright reasons. I think that it's time that we all need to stop the film industry थोड़ा रुक कर थोड़ा थम कर ये सोचना चाहिए कि हम अपनी फिल्मों के जरिए क्या सीख दे रहे हैं अपने बच्चों को But the show admits that Bollywood movies portray a warped view on relationships and they tend to normalize things like men acting like scoundrels and women liking it men forcibly kissing girls and the girls liking it beating them uh, when a girl says no it actually means pursue me and eventually i will say yes and of course women being treated like objects now our brains are in an alpha wave state when we watch tv which means it is more prone to suggestion and the effectiveness of suggestion has been proved by studies like the harvard 1999 one that was done on flashing words and images during movies and this has been made more effective by the use of pulsing images yeah, the use of which can be tracked to a 2003 US patent now we know that unconscious mind is more prone to suggestion and of course conditioning and this influences our day-to-day -day decisions more so than we think for example what we consider to be beautiful what we consider to be cool yeah and ways to deal with certain situations and so on so what's the solution yeah give it all up well in short yes <laughs> but i know that's not going to be practical for everyone so the least we can do is try these three things to limit the damage number 1 if you do watch this stuff watch it consciously and critically don't let your guard down discuss the themes as a family Don't just passively consume the content making your children think it's normal. Number 2, don't rely on the television to raise your kids and compensate for your responsibility towards them. Yeah. I know it's difficult, but you do have to invest time especially in the first 10 years of their life. Number 3, don't be so naive and allow private and unrestricted access of technology to your kids yeah like i said the first 10 years of their life is integral and well integral in the formation of their long term memory of their ideals morals so hope you guys have benefited from this it is indeed an incredibly powerful video and coming from the stars that people idolize definitely share this clip and hopefully this will get a lot of people thinking about the movies that they consume and be careful with your diet and diet is not just stuff that you consume it's stuff that you consume through your ears yeah and through your eyes as well this is also diet so if you are going to watch something watch something that challenges you academically that doesn't teach you negative things all right guys let's leave it there until next time assalamu alaikum